Hey, what's up, guys? So, today we will be looking at the SH Figure Arts Bandai Tomasi Nation SH Figure Arts Spider Man No Way Home Integrated Suit Spider Man from No Way Home. Damn, say that five times fast. No, okay, yep. First post of 2022 for YouTube. First figure purchase of 2022. I was able to get mine on Amazon Japan. Um, so if you got lucky, if it's still there, I mean, it could be there. Go, go, ch go check it out. Anyway, skip it through all this stuff. Here we have the SH Figure Arts integrated suit. And yeah, taking a look at the package right here. It's a very small package. There isn't much. Like this is, I think, my first experience with the, not with SH Figure Arts, but with a, a box this relatively small. I don't, I don't know if, if there's iPhones bigger than this, I think. But anyways, y'all don't really care that much about packaging. So we're just going to skip on right through this. And let's take a look at what's inside. Funny enough, this does come with a set of instructions on how to switch everything out, uh, including the interchangeable eyes. But there are no interchangeable eyes that come with this figure, so that's weird. Now, for accessories, there isn't much that comes with this Spider-Man figure. It's kind of relative. There's six interchangeable hands, including thwipping wall crawling and web grabbing hands which is a little weird i think because there's no webs for him to hold on to or grab so i don't know that's odd and then it does come with the tool to interchange the eyes but there's no interchangeable eyes but regardless of that you do have of course the web flipping hands the web shooter effects and these are nice um i think compared to the previous ones that come with other sh figure spider-man they're not relatively all that strange here's one of the other ones from the far from home figure and yeah, they, they look about the same. I there isn't much. There could probably a different B. There could probably there's probably a different sheen and the color of white, but you know that's okay. Taking a look at these hands, these are nice and texturized. I'm sorry for my long nails. It's not that flattering to look at, but these hands are. You can see all the details down right in there. It's really nice and texturized, and it just feels good. That's really how it is with all of the hands. There is also the adapter piece for um, a stand, uh, a stand that this figure does not come with. Um, so yeah, that's uh, again strange. This figure is really cheap due to the lack of accessories I think it came with. But you know what? I guess it's nice to have if you have any other ones lying around. But anyway, enough about accessories. Let's take a closer look at the integrated suit. Now, I do have to admit, when the integrated suit was first revealed last year, I wasn't the biggest fan of the design. I didn't hate it. I wasn't so quick to dismiss it. But I do have to say that after watching the movie and after all this time that has passed, it has grown on me tremendously. Bringing this in for a closer look right here. Hoping it'll focus right there. Oh, this is SH Figure Arts and Tamashi. They just, they just did a fantastic job at capturing all the details in here like looking at all the sculpted line work and the texture the texture is one of my favorite parts of this figure it is nice to just kind of hold and mess around with it's very similar to the texture i would say on the mafix um upgraded to itself but just getting in here i think the gold paint is really nice and clean i don't have a lot of mishaps on my copy specifically but you know it's all right getting a closer look in on the head sculpt i think this is awesome it's fantastic i feel like SH Figure Arts has done a really good job at just capturing the head sculpt. I know one of my complaints on the Mafex figure was that the head shape kind of seemed a little odd. I don't know. It just wasn't. It looked kind of big headed, whereas I like this kind of clean, slimmer look, heading, look, look, heading shape. The, the head looks dope on here. I, I really like it a lot. Again, with all that detail and the texture, it's just phenomenal. I just, I just, I have to applaud sh figure arts on this it is just really good just taking a look down here at the rest of the suit oh it's just it's so nice one of my favorite parts to look at is the back like this gold just pops it makes everything on the figure pop it isn't accurate the suit doesn't have the gauntlets in the movies but that's all right for me it doesn't bother me that much and they are removable if you wanted to take those off but oh man there's just so much to look down here even the bottom of the feet and this texture is just nice. Like, just take a... I don't know how well you can hear that on camera, but... Oh, it's just such a nice figure to look at. I really do like it a lot. Uh, it's just really... Gro the design just grows on me a lot. And the sculpt and paint on here just makes me really enjoy this figure a lot more. Now, this figure is not perfect. 
for some reason, Tamashi just can't do black. Like, they can't do black paint, black plastic. I don't know, because there is a hint of blue. I mean, it coming out, I don't know how it is on camera, but in person, this does look more like a dark navy blue than black. Um, this is a similar problem to the Far From Home figure. That one, I would just say, had like a hint of blue. It was still a little darker than this one itself. But it's just literally preference. You're either going to like it or you're not. Um, in this case, I, I, I'm I fine with it. It doesn't bother me. I'm There will be other companies that will make this figure that will probably get it right. Personally, I would try to attempt at a repaint, but I'm scared about trying to get into these joints and getting paint in there. And it's just it's just way out of my ballpark, you know. So it's way out of my realm. But for me, it's okay. It's inaccurate. doesn't have the gauntlets in the movie. This is supposed to be black. But even still, the other versions that are out there already of this suit... Those are inaccurate as well, so I guess we have to wait for Mayfix to see if they'll knock it out of the park for a um, six-inch six inch scale figure. But you know what? That's that's okay. So, moving on to some of my major gripes of the figure, I relatively only have two, and they all have to deal with up here at the head and the neck. Let me scooch this in a little bit. There we go. Um, I just, there's just something weird, so popping the head off, there is no alternative Tom Holland head, which as it was advertised with, it doesn't have one, but popping this off, you can see this isn't brand new, Tamashi's done this with their Spider-Man figures before, it's actually really cool, but when I catch myself playing with it or trying to articulate it, sometimes the head is just quick to pop off like that as I'm raising it up, so that's a bit annoying, I think for taking pictures, maybe sometimes it'll be beneficial, I don't know if it was intentional to be like that or not, but that's kind of unfortunate. And then taking a look down here at the neck. I don't know what is going on here. This ball joint, or not, it's not even a ball joint. There's This plastic down right here seems to be wider than this other side here. And so when I'm trying to articulate the neck, it, it gets caught a lot. And you can see as I pull the neck off right here. Let me get in a close look right here. It is scratching and rubbing on that neck chest piece i don't know but you can see as it right here yeah this whole piece is i feel like it's pushing that out and i i don't know it's just it's irritating i think on my copy personally i'm gonna try to kind of just hollow this out a little bit make this a little wider because that rub is annoying as i do try to pose around and play with it it does get caught and it is kind of just it's just a nitpicky habit to have to try to reset it i don't know i'm not a big fan of that it just kind of takes me away for a little bit but other than that, really, in terms of articulation or just gripes in general, that's really all I have with this figure. Speaking of articulation, let's go ahead and run down what this integrated suit can do. So looking up with the neck, goes up to about right there, looking down, not too bad. There is some rotation, and then there is a pivot, but it is more from that lower neck joint instead of the ball joint up top. Uh, shoulders rotate here. They go up this far. That's nice. Bicep swivel, that's awesome because the upgraded suit from the SH Figure Arts previous version didn't have a bicep swivel, so that's nice. We got double jointed elbows, and the wrists do rotate and hinge up and down, depending on which way you have that joint uh, configured. There is a butterfly joint right here, but it does go forward more than back. It doesn't go back at all, so that's kind of a, another gripe of mine. This rotates up here, crunches forward a little bit back, uh, but the lower waist joint does crunch forward a lot. That's really nice, and then this cover does help cover a lot of that gapage right there. Going back, mm, about that far. The legs kick out, spread that far. Uh, kick up this high. Yep, there we go. Uh, biceps, not biceps, so thigh, upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees. Ankles move down, up, they do rotate right here. There is toe articulation and ankle pivot, so there you go. Like most Spider-Man figures, there is the interchangeable hand right here. So here you can just, you can see that ball joint down right there. And then plopping this hand on there, it's not too hard. You do want to be careful though, because it is a small joint. You don't want to break it, but that's how that looks. One of my other gripes though is with these web effects, because that cover... It's supposed to cover the ball joint and then sit like that, but I feel like this cover is way too thick, and it does prevent the hand from sitting on the ball joint itself. That's how it was on the upgraded suit, and I feel like that's the same case here. It just I have been unsuccessful in trying to do that, so it kind of sits there. Oh, it's not lined up straight. Let me 
get this one around. And then, yeah, the hand is, oh, well, never, never mind. It was, it's usually been quick to pop off, but you know, you know there, there we go. <laughs> That's how it happens. For size comparisons now, we have the SH Figuarts black and red suit, or as known as the upgraded suit, from far from home and you can see the difference uh, the differences and improvements here you can see appearing on camera the black on the upgraded suit does appear to be darker compared to the black well quotation marks black on the integrated suit the integrated suit does have a brighter well not brighter just there's more blue in that you you can see that i can say in person the red and black suit does have oh you can see a slight hint of blue in there but it's definitely not as noticeable as it is on the integrated suit they are re-releasing this upgraded suit i think that it's supposed to come out later this year same exact figure but with different paint so if you wanted to get your hands on that those pre-orders are up somewhere i don't know but there you go and now right here we have the marvel legends integrated suit that came out in the armadillo wave at the end of last year and yeah these are both my imperfect integrated suit figures the black on the uh, Marvel Legends one is not black, it's gray. And then the black on the air grade suit is blue. They both have gauntlets. I did have to add the lines, of course, on the Marvel Legends one because they weren't painted. And I just, I like both of these. I, I want one that comes with black. I've seen repaints of the Marvel Legends one. And the black repaint on the gray looks phenomenal. I'm sure it would look phenomenal on the SH Figure Arts one too. But, you know, we just, we don't have a perfect uh, on-screen copy of the air grade suit yet. So like I said, maybe Marvel Legends will get around to re-releasing this with the correct paint apps or Mafex is going to knock it out of the park. So there you go. There's the height comparison between these two in case you were just wondering. And now right here we have both Mafex, the Upgraded Suit and the Infinity War Iron Spider. And you can see the similarities and texture between the sculpt on the Mafex suit and the Integrated Suit as I was referring to. Well, Mafex suit. The Upgraded Suit is what I'm referring to, not the Mafex suit. They're both Mafex. But, and then of course the Iron Spider. You can see I like the head sculpts more on the Integrated Suit and the Iron Spider compared to the head sculpt on the Mafex one. The Mafex one just looks big, but you know, we're not here to do that. Here's the size in case you're wondering. And I just, I can't help but sit here and wonder what a Mafex integrated suit's gonna look like. Granted, we probably won't get it until 2023 or 24 with all these delays that happen, but hopefully we get an announcement soon. And hopefully that black is black and it's not no gray, it's not blue, it's not purple. It's gotta be black. So we'll see what happens there. And now finally, we have the Toy Biz Tobey Maguire Spider-Man action figure alongside with the Mafex, the Amazing Spider-Man 2, Andrew Garfield figure. The height, it could work. I mean, if you want it to, it's not accurate at all. Tobey Maguire and Tom Holland are around the same height. They stand closer in eye level. So this height comparison, it's not entirely accurate. But, you know, if you want to make a headcanon, it could still work for a solid display. And then it just makes me wonder, I mean, big you arts. Mafex, are you going to give us Tommy McGuire and Andrew Garfield figures? I mean, please, 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 please. We're waiting for Hasbro to do it. We're waiting for you to do it. I don't even care if I have to wait until 2025 just to announce that these figures will come because both Andrew and Toby, they sorely need updates, new technology, new sculpt, new paint, everything. Please, 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 fingers crossed that we'll get those figures in either figure company line someday. At the end of the day, when the dust settles, this figure is not perfect. It has flaws. The black is not black at all. I wish the butterfly joints could go back. The head and neck thing really irritates me. And then interchanging out the web shooters, the web shooting effects, like that's just, sometimes the handles want to pop on. It's irritating and it's not really fun at all. But despite all that, it is a fun figure. It has great sculpt, paint, and articulation. I know the black and gold suit coming out was recently announced to have an alternate Tom Holland head that'll fit on this one. So I'm sure that'll be great when that comes out. And I do hope those interchangeable eyes on the black and gold suit fit on this one because I was kind of upset that this didn't have interchangeable eyes. I mean, it came with a tool for it. But anyways, despite that, this figure was cheap. It's $35 in Japan. Like I said, you're gonna pay about $50 to $60 with shipping, depending on where you get it. So you didn't waste a whole lot of money on this figure with flaws and that's okay at the end of the day i can get the poses i want i can get the display i want it looks great with the toby and andrew figures and it's just a fun spider-man figure to have i think i would definitely recommend picking it up it is a solid eight out of ten on my scale so whether you want this one or the marvel legends one they're both inaccurate so either pick one of those up or just wait for hopefully mafex to announce one that is a hundred percent screen accurate but at the end of the day this is still a fun figure. I do recommend you get it. 8 out of 10. 
Thank you for stopping by and watching this video. I hope you all have a nice and great day. And if you do want to keep up with me and my life and other figures, I pick up whatever, you can go over to my TikTok account at boondocs01. That's where I post the most at. And this is where all those people told me to post more on YouTube. So hopefully this satisfies y'all as much as it's going to satisfy me getting some YouTube videos posted out there. Thank you. You can also stop by my Instagram at Daniel underscore Boone 01. Keep up with my personal life, posting stuff on there. It's just all fun. I want to build a community out of this. The TikTok community is great. Hopefully I can get well on YouTube. But at the end of the day, despite all that, thank you for watching this review. Y'all stay safe out there. Protect yourself and your loved ones from COVID. And I hope y'all have a great 2022. Thank you. Hey, what's up, guys? Just got done making this review for the SH Figure Arts Integrated Soup. So that's fun. I do have to say, please bear with me uh, in this journey of YouTube and reviews. Um, I'm going to probably be changing my style a lot, format, background, etc. I don't know. I don't have really specific plans other than to just post because I want to post more on YouTube. I want to be more active here. And so, yeah, just bear with me. We'll stick to the process. We'll get to where we need to go. It's a new year, new resolution, new goals. We'll all figure it out together. So thanks for watching. Yeah.